Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. The film begins with text summarizing humanity's downfall following the virus outbreak, which led to the ape's rise under Caesar's leadership. His funeral is depicted, with the entire ape clan placing flowers on his body before lighting his pyre, honoring their fallen leader. Centuries later, apes have formed distinct clans across the land. Three young apes, Noah, Owen Teague, Suna, Lydia Peckham, and Anaya, Travis Jeffrey, embark on a quest to find eagle eggs for a bonding ritual, as their clan trains eagles for various tasks. After Suna and Anaya secure their eggs, Noah climbs to the highest nest, grabbing an egg just before the mother eagle attacks, causing him to fall and catch himself on the side of an old building. As the trio descends, Noah notices his blanket is missing from his horse. They spot a human outsider, referred to as Echoes, by the apes, and give chase. The human drops the blanket and flees into a dark tunnel. Returning to their village, where Noah's father Koro, Neil Sandilands, is the chief and his mother Dar, Sarah Wiseman, also resides. Noah discusses the upcoming ritual and warns Koro about venturing beyond the valley after detecting the human scent on the blanket. That night, Noah hears a noise and discovers the same human woman, Freya Allen, from earlier. She hits his chest, breaking the egg in his sack. While Suna and Anaya offer to postpone their rituals alongside Noah's, he refuses and sets out to find a replacement egg. He encounters a deceased ape and a wounded clan member, who warns him before dying from a knife wound. Noah hides as masked apes arrive, finding his horse and sending it back to lead them to the village. When Noah returns, he finds the village in flames, with masked apes capturing his clan members, including Dar, Suna, and Anaya, while shouting for Caesar. Noah tries to reach Koro but is confronted by a guerrilla general named Silva, aka Darville. Koro's eagle flies away as Noah attempts to defend his father. Koro fights back but is overpowered by Silva, who sends Noah falling from a tower before killing Koro. In the morning, Noah finds himself alone amidst the ruins of his home. He walks until he finds Koro's body and gives him a burial. He then sets forth to try and find his clan. Koro's eagle reappears, but when Noah attempts to bond with it, the eagle claws his arm. He continues to travel and rest when necessary, but Noah ends up falling through a glass ceiling and into a trap. He cuts himself down but then is met by an orangutan named Raka, Peter Macon. He initially believes Noah is with the masked apes, but Noah explains his situation. Raka then says that he is burning the last ape of his clan before bringing Noah with him. Raka explains that he is a follower of the real Caesar's beliefs, belonging to a group called the Order of Caesar that he is now the only member of. The masked apes follow a tyrannical ape calling himself Proximus Caesar, Kevin Durand, who has taken the ways of Caesar and corrupted them to his benefit. Raka also tells Noah about when humans and apes coexisted alongside one another unlike now, and it is a belief Caesar held close. Raka joins Noah in his mission to locate his clan, and on their way, they run into the young woman again after they set up camp. Raka gives her food and convinces Noah to give her his mother's blanket for warmth, even though Noah does not trust her. Raka names her Nova, after the human girl that Caesar befriended. Later at night, Caesar comes upon an observatory and looks up at the stars through a telescope. The woman then looks through the telescope and reacts with similar astonishment as Noah. The following day, the woman joins Noah and Raka as they come upon a herd of zebra drinking from a lake. Suddenly, a group of humans emerge and also drink and bathe from the water. Then, Proximus's apes arrive and start to round up the humans for sport. The woman hides in the grass while Raka tries to protect her and Silva goes hunting for her. Noah rides his horse to try and find both of them, but the woman yells out Noah's name and is rescued by him. With Raka's help, they outrun the villainous apes and make it to the shore. The woman then speaks and says her name is May and she tells Noah that the apes are taking his clan to a bunker while she hopes to find other humans. Continuing their travels, the three come across a bridge, but Silva and his apes corner them. May falls into the river after another ape tries to grab her but gets swept away. May gets caught in a net as Raka tries to free her. He pulls her out but gets pulled down. When he tries to get back up, 
Silva has Noah and May captured before he approaches the net with a knife. Raka reminds Noah of Caesar's creed, apes together strong, before Silva cuts the net and sends Raka down the river. Noah and May are taken to Proximus's settlement, which is right next to a giant vault that he has been trying and failing to open for some time. Noah reunites with Dar, Suna, and Anaya before being taken with May to meet Proximus. He has been taught by another human, Trevathan, William H. Macy, who is willingly subservient to Proximus since he has accepted that humanity's reign over Earth is long gone. Proximus explains that he plans to evolve and conquer once he learns the secrets of the vault, and he thinks Noah may be useful in his endeavors, while also warning him humans cannot be trusted. Outside, he speaks to Dar, who has come to accept her home is gone. Noah seems to have given up hope until he sees the necklace that Raka left him with, reminding him of Caesar's ways and convincing himself that Proximus's law is wrong. Noah goes to find May and confront her over what it is she really wants. She tells him she is looking for something she says is like a book to help humans communicate again. They team up with Suna and Anaya to destroy what is inside the vault by getting it wet so that it may be useless to Proximus. Trevathan sees them and tells them their attempts will be futile. May tries to convince him to join them, but Trevathan has given up on humanity and is going to tell Proximus. So May chokes him to death and has the apes throw his body in the water. They then plant explosives around the dam and find their way through a secret entry that May knows about. Inside, the apes find picture books showing apes behind bars in zoos, while May finds her book, which is a deciphering key inside the vault's machinery. The heroes start to make their way out of the vault until they are met by Proximus and his apes. One of his lieutenants, Lightning, Ras Samuel Weld Obski, holds Suna at knife point as Proximus demands that May admit what her plan is. May takes out a gun she found in the vault and shoots Lightning in the chest, killing him. When Proximus asks if there are more guns, May says he cannot have what is inside and proceeds to blow the dam, flooding the bunker. Proximus's apes are killed while the Eagle Clan starts climbing their way up. Noah is chased by Silva, but he manages to squeeze his way through a gap that Silva is too big for, leaving the brutish gorilla to drown. The apes make their way up to the top, but Proximus finds them and begins to attack Noah for ruining his plans. He intends to make him bow before killing him, but Noah begins to chant his father's songs to command the eagles, leading the rest of the clan to join him as the eagles proceed to attack Proximus, clawing and pecking at him until Dar has her eagle deal the final blow as the eagles pull Proximus over the ledge and send him plummeting to his watery grave. No, no, no.